Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Spectrum Classes. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the terminology which is used in NMR spectrum. As we all know that there are two different types of terminologies used. One is in terms of frequency. Here it is in low frequency and high frequency terms. And the other one is in field terms. One is high or it is also known as upfield shift. And the other one is lower downfield. So, if you are a beginner and you have any confusion why low frequency is termed as high field or a field, then this video is very important for you. This scale is represented in chemical shift value, which is represented by this delta. This is a unitless quantity and it is determined in ppm and it is in frequency terms. So, that we will discuss in this video and just to know about these terminologies in that is in frequency and field terms it is very important to know about the early stage nmr spectrometers that is continuous wave nmr spectrometer so let's start with the continuous wave nmr spectrometer in this continuous wave nmr spectrometer two different technologies are used and on the basis of that, these continuous wave NMR spectrometers are categorized as frequency sweep and field sweep. So, as the name suggests, frequency sweep means varying the frequency. So, the RF oscillator frequency is continuously changing at constant field value that is at constant B0 value. Whereas in the field sweep, B0 field or the magnetic field is varied at constant frequency of the RF oscillator. Now a question comes to why we call it continuous wave NMR spectrometer. So the reason behind this is that in both kind of spectrometers, the continuous operation of radio frequency oscillator is required that is why these both type of spectrometers are referred as continuous wave techniques now let us start with the frequency sweep and field sweep continuous wave nmr spectrometers one by one first we will discuss the frequency sweep nmr spectrometers so just before starting this frequency sweep, let us have a recap of our previous videos just to understand the concept in a clear manner. When a nuclei having a spin value i is equal to 1 by 2 is placed in the applied external magnetic field which is represented by B0, then the nuclei start processing about the axis of the applied external magnetic field. So here, this nuclei start processing about this axis G and this precisional frequency is known as its Lamma frequency and represented by omega and this omega is equal to gamma B0 where gamma is the zeromagnetic ratio and B0 is the applied external magnetic field. So, if we increase or decrease this B0 field then this Lamma frequency is increases or decreases respectively and this lama frequency is in terms of radians per second here are some equations which are very important to understand or to know so here delta e is equals to h nu where delta e is the energy difference between the high and the low energy state h is the planck's constant nu is the frequency in hertz here, there is a relationship between this frequency nu, which is in hertz, and lama frequency omega, which is in radians. So, nu is equal to omega upon 2 pi and uh, omega is equal to gamma B0. Just to understand how on increasing the B0 field, the lama frequency or the energy difference increases. So, here is the one picture. Here, as we move, from left to right or we increases the B0 field, the energy difference between the low and the high energy state increases. This we have already discussed in our previous video. So, here you can see delta E is equal to H nu. So, lama frequency increases. Nu is equal to omega upon 2 pi. So, here delta E increases 
on increasing the B node. Therefore, the Lamar or the precisional frequency increases. Now, let us have an example of methanol. Our, our sample is having two different type of proton. One is of CH3 type and the other one is OH type. So, here is the H which is attached to O and here is the H which is attached to C carbon. So, there are two different type of nuclei. Say we designate this H as A and this H as B. So, here we are having this A is processing at first precisional frequency. So, the reason behind this is that here this oxygen is electronegative element and which pull the electron density towards its side and therefore it has very low diamagnetic shielding such terms we will discuss in the next video so if it is processing at higher frequency value means it is having higher delta e value so here we have one can see this is say this is my a nuclei and this is my b nuclei and it is processing at high lama frequency so it is the energy difference at this constant since this is the frequency sweep so b is constant so suppose my b not field is at this moment so at this moment the energy difference between the high and low energy level for this nuclei a and b is different so here is the difference and which is higher than the b so for b it is like this and for a it is like this you can see this delta e a is high so the frequency is also high for this a nuclei so if we are increasing the frequency of the rf radiation then first this b nuclei will resonate because the energy difference is low and it resonates at low frequency value whereas for this a it is high so it can be understand by considering the uv visible spectrum where the whole spectrum is scanned for the total wavelength range. So here we started from smaller frequency to higher frequency side. So this B nuclei will resonate at low frequency value as compared to the nuclei A. So this is what is going to be happen in the frequency sweep NMR spectrometer. Now we will discuss about this field sweep NMR. These field sweep NMR spectrometers are easy to handle because in these field sweep NMR spectrometers it is easy to maintain electronically the B1 oscillator frequency constant at appropriate value of the target molecule and to sweep the magnetic field to achieve the resonance of the target nuclei in the sample. So here in this case we are going to keep this B1 field or radio frequency oscillator frequency constant and we are changing the B0 field or the applied magnetic field. So here is the block diagram for the NMR spectrometer. Here it has been shown how these are the conventional magnets and how these in these type of NMR spectrometers the magnetic field is varied. So there are two sweep generators in this gray region. So these are the sweep generators or sweep coils. So if we apply or passing a direct current slowly slowly through these sweep coils then the magnetic field can be changed. In this way, one can change the magnetic field in the sweep NMR spectrometers. So, let us have again the example of methanol. So, here is the methanol as we discussed earlier. So, here is the A nuclei, here is the B type of protons. So, this as we all know, this H is processing at faster speed. Through this relation, you can understand that if it is processing or precisional frequency is high for A, then delta E is equal to H nu for A and this nu A can be replaced by H omega upon 2 pi A. So, if it is processing at higher frequency, then this delta E or the energy difference between the high and the low energy state is higher for this 
a nuclei so here you can see at this moment this moment suppose if b not field is here then this is the energy difference for a nuclei whereas this is the energy difference for b nuclei since it is processing with low lama frequency as compared to the a so this is very important to understand actually now since in this type of field sweep nmr spectrometers the radio frequency of the rf oscillator is kept constant so for both the nuclei it is same nu node so here is the suppose this is the constant frequency so corresponding to this what energy difference is required suppose it is for a nuclei here it resonates at a nuclei but it do not resonate for b nuclei because it is higher than this energy difference so where it will get the appropriate energy difference of e2 minus e1 of b nuclei only there it will get resonates how we are changing the energy difference between these b nuclei so if we are continuously changing the b naught because here again i am writing this this omega is equal to if we replace omega by gamma b naught this omega is replaced by gamma b naught upon 2 pi here so if we increasing this b naught value then we could meet this delta e energy difference which is required for this constant frequency value if we change this b naught field or increasing this b naught field we increase the energy difference that is e2 minus e1 difference for this constant new or frequency of the rf oscillator so here we are changing this b naught and in the previous slide we discussed how b naught can be changed in this field sweep nmr spectrometer so on changing this here you can see through this small animation here you can see if the energy gap is increases so it found at this moment equal to this constant frequency value the energy difference meets at this place of this b naught this is the field strength which is required for this b nuclei and this is the energy difference or field strength required for the nuclei a so i hope this is now clear to you how the field sweep or changing the b naught at constant frequency of the rf oscillator these two different kind of nuclei resonates so if we see the output or the spectrum we received from this field sweep nmr we are having that here we are changing this b naught from left to right so this resonates at low b naught field value however this which is processing at low lama frequency that resonates at higher field so if we compare the output of both the both type of nmr spectrometers then we will see a situation like this suppose we keep our peaks constant here we can see this frequency is changing from right to left here i have shown this is zero and that is why we discuss about this delta or chemical shift value which is referenced at frequency nu so it is moving from right to left here this b naught field is if we keep this peaks constant so we are having this b naught field varying from left to right so the scale is only change that i have written over here so the resulting spectra are indistinguishable except the abscissa it has been revealed that nucleus a which is represented by this blue line at high frequency value if we are moving from right to left and at low magnetic field value if we are moving from left to right in the field sweep nmr that is why the low frequency nuclei this is b which is observed at low frequency or high field however the high frequency nuclei which observed at high frequency is resonates at low or down field side further we are using two different terms that is shielded or de-shielded region 
and that shielded and de-shielded region and this chemical shift will be discussed in the next video. I hope you understand this concept. I hope you will find this video useful. Thank you all.